What is Sex? explores the concept of sexuality as a short circuit between ontology and epistemology. The book is divided into four chapters, each focusing on different aspects of sexuality. Chapter 1 discusses the non-relation as a real and the real, while Chapter 2 explores how to locate the functional aspect of the other, beyond the claim that it does not exist. Chapter 3 emphasizes that contradiction is not just about appropriation, but also becomes an empowering source from the logic governed by this contradiction. Contradictions do not vanish, but function in configuring and altering reality, and we engage with them to become part of it. In Chapter 4, the author discusses the impossibility embedded within sex and the eventual nature of love. She notes that within the discourse, the real is conserved and we lose the ability to name the effects because it recognizes the disjunction between the necessary and the real, impossible. So Panai then returns to love and Latin Seminar 20, substituting eventual drama of love with comedy of love to emphasize that passion can be maintained even when love regresses she also discusses the event of naming and creation of new reality or the disjoin ten between the necessary and the real in her work Zupanai explores the philosophical problem of sexuality in freudian and latinian psychoanalysis she argues that sexuality is a philosophical problem that transcends ontological relevance and has an empowering political potential in shaping human relations. Psychoanalysis presents contradictions involving the actuality of sex, which cannot be restricted to mere ontological relevance. Sexuality is considered a natural coping mechanism as an intermediary to experience sexual satisfaction experienced through intercourse, and it can also be received from talking, singing, praying, writing, and other actions. Zupanai acknowledges Freud's proposition that sexuality, passion, is innately associated with the search for knowledge. The significance lies in being and non being and our presence involvement with social, cultural and religious envelopes our sexuality. Sexuality does not exist within or beyond the symbolic, but rather as the contradiction of the symbolic space that appears because of the constitutively missing signifier and what appears in its place, enjoyment. So Panai considers sex as a signifier transpiring out of this discourse. Sex is not an ontological predicament, but rather a signifier that excites the fissure between knowledge and the subject. The presence of equivocity helps us perceive the inherent contradictions of our reality and alters meaning from certainty to a differential form to unlock a certain symptomatic enjoyment and invested in the scene of the domestic quarrel and its anticipation. The unlocking is attained by the disruption of linear temporality and alteration of presence. So Panai recognizes sex as the missing signifier, the fissure within being, a knowledge foundational to the discursive realm. Sex is messy because it appears at the point of the breaking down of the signifying consistency, or logic, its point of impossibility, not because it is in itself illogical and messy. Its messiness is the result of the attempt to invent a logic. At the very point of the impasse of such logic, the possibility of sex in its impossibility prevents the ontological of the symbolic making reality possible. Sex is a space with productive possibilities and possibilities of signification. 
inherently linked with our everyday activities, and knowledge to negotiate this gap. So pan I view subjectivity through the lens of signification. The subject is an articulative being, the signifier subject, and the subject is possible only through the lack of signification. The subject of the absent signifier, she assumes that there is something in being that is less than being, and this something is precisely that which, while included in being, prevents it from being fully constituted as being. Unlike Foucault who ignores ontology, by picking epistemological reflections on sexuality, Tupanai centers her central question on ontology. In psychoanalysis, sex and the sexual are deciphered as a possibility of irreducible ontological contradiction. However, the object-disoriented ontology is not objectification of reality or conviction of positive knowledge of reality, but a realization that reality is not effortlessly accessible. So pan -is reflections and analysis of concepts often remain inconclusive, exposing the paradoxical model surrounding sex in an intricate manner. The why questions surrounding sex sexuality still stay unanswered, as her interrogation attempts to explain sex in the middle ground between ontology and epistemology. Zupanai's book explores the concept of sex as an identity, arguing that it is an ontological problem that coexists with a disruption in reality. She uses logic as the foundation for psychoanalytic interpretations focusing on the otherness of sex as an identity. However, her approach requires familiarity with Latin to discern her approach, as knowledge about sex remains inconclusive, due to its intriguing gap and structural reticence.